Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to clone computers over the network using Redo Backup and Recovery. This is the most easiest way of cloning computers over the network. Our goal is to create a mirror image of the original computer hard drive and place it in a shared folder in the server. Then run Redo Backup and Recovery to create clones of the original computer using that image file on the server. The link for this program is in the description box below. Once you have downloaded, it will download an ISO. If you're using Windows Vista, Windows 7 or 8, all you need to do is right click, burn disk image to create a bootable disk. Here it is. If you're using Windows XP, then you will need a third party software to burn that ISO onto a disk. I'm using Windows 7 as my server operating system, but you can use any operating system as long as it can hold the ISO file you will be creating. I'll create this vclones folder and share it over the network. On a real environment you should use proper permissions to share this file. Since this is a video tutorial I'll select everyone full control just for this tutorial. I'm letting everyone have full control of this folder. Remember, on a real environment, not recommended. Perfect. I have created this uh, shared folder over the network. Now it's time to test it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to test it on the computer that I'm going to be cloning. This one here. I'll see if I have access to this uh, shared folder. Now let me see if I can copy and delete a file from here, just to make sure. Perfect. Now uh, before I start cloning, I always like to see the uh, partitions. So by going to computer management, disk management here, to see the partitions we're going to be cloning. System reserve and drive C. Some of the computers will bring a recovery partitions. I personally don't clone recovery partitions. So now place the redo backup and recovery disk on your CD-ROM drive and restart the computer. Now remember to change the boot sequence in the BIOS to be able to boot from the redo backup and recovery disk. Here select start redo backup this is extremely simple backup or restore we're gonna create a mirror image of the hard drive so click on backup I have only one hard drive in this Windows 8 computer pre-select it click on next now my system reserve and my drive C is already selected if I would have the system recovery it's optional if you wanna uh, clone it or not. Click next, select shared folder over the network and now type the directory or folder directory. Instead of typing the server name type the IP address of the server and the folder name. Plug in the username and password and click on next. Now if you would have had a subfolder within that folder, you can browse. I'm going to um, just select the root and click on next. You can rename it if you like. I'm going to leave it default, June 14th, 2013, next. And it will start creating that image file of the hard drive onto that shared folder in the network. Perfect. I have created a mirror image of the original computer hard drive onto a shared folder on the server. All I need to do now is run redo backup and recovery on the clones and create a clone of the original computer from that image file. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and turn off the virtual machine. I'm using virtual machine because I don't have the means to buy two computers of the same for this video tutorial. 
as you can see both mach virtual machines are exactly the same the difference is just the name on a real environment the process is exactly the same just place the redo backup disk on the disk drive of the clones and start the computer select start redo backup remember to change the boot sequence on the clones to boot from the redo backup disk here click on restore select shared folder over the network and type the directory or folder directory remember to place the IP address of the server instead of the name of the server username password next now browse for that backup we created here it is June 14 2013 open next now this is my main drive if you have a different drive just click on the down arrow key to select a different drive and click on next this warning here is just letting you know that the hard drive will be overwritten by this image file just click on yes perfect you have created the clone out of that image file now once you restart the computer it will restart with the exact configuration you had on the original computer thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you